guys, welcome back to today's video. Um, I know this is a little late, but happy Halloween. Uh, as you may have seen in the community post, I have made a couple Halloween-like gift cards or, I don't know, posters or flyers or whatever you want to call them. Just a little something. And today, I'm just gonna show you the process, you know? I was trying out a new style this time. That I was actually like really proud of. Uh, so I used new brushes. I tried something a little bit new. I was thinking spooky season, spooky vibes, you know. So first off, we've got Jerry and Felicia. Yes, I know it's Felicia. Uh, I'm saying it Felicia because uh, I want to. And like when I saw the results for the community post, I was so shocked that this one was disliked pretty heavily well not disliked but like not the favorite i don't know to me this was my absolute favorite i love like i don't know i love the vibe uh yeah and then uh the pumpkin from the last one got me thinking about you know drawn pumpkins so I was just doodling a pumpkin and then it ended up being like a full gift card again gift card not gift card but like I don't know greeting card something like that I don't know and it started off with just like a pumpkin but it felt kind of empty so I added some more and just kind of made it a little bit of a scene you know something cute toned down the colors made them a bit more yellow and highlights you know the whole thing I don't know if I like the stems, honestly. I think I need to work on that, but overall, I was pretty happy with this. Um, for the next one, I was, I was like, thinking, I don't know, green was the vibe. So, well, then I switched to purple for ghosts or spirits, but that just didn't look right, so I ended up making them green, and then it was gonna be, like, Spooky potion, maybe a little bit poison. Uh, but then it felt too simple, so I just kept adding more and adding more. And like looking back on it now, I totally messed the lighting up for the cauldron, but it's fine. If I were to do this again, I would definitely try to focus on the lighting a bit more. Because, I don't know, the bubble lighting on the cauldron just doesn't look right. And I'd also change the style of the bubbles in the air. I feel like they don't really match very well. But other than that, I really enjoyed this one. Especially the spooky faces. Those were a lot of fun to draw. And I hope I get time to do it again. So. I struggled so hard writing cursive S's. Like, what's up with cursive S's? Why are they so difficult? I don't understand. Like, I know my cursive isn't great, but like... Next, I ended up doing a, uh, like, porch view. And, as you saw, I had to trace the perspective, because I could not get it to work for me at all. So, that's, that was a struggle, but... Other than that, I think this one is, like, one of my favorites out of the bunch. Definitely not my favorite, because that would be Cherry and Felicia, but a good one nonetheless. And, uh, I kind of gave it, like, a rustic farm vibe. I don't know how to describe it, but I absolutely loved it. And again, drawing the pumpkin, which is absolutely not in perspective. It's not in perspective, and I'm just noticing that, and it makes me so mad, but oh well, can't fix it now. Uh, I also messed around with, like, different ideas of scenic views. So, we got a little tiny red farmhouse on the horizon, we got a scarecrow in the middle of the field, we got some hay bales, we got trees, you know. I started adding shadows and stuff, and as you'll see, like, especially when I toned down the blue... It, no, it's no longer blue. That's gray. Test it out yourself. It is. And then, uh, the next day, 
when I came back to do drawing, I saw this really cool spider web, and I totally was inspired by it. So I started making my own spider web, and oh my gosh, spider webs are so much harder to draw than I thought they were. <laughs> like, how do you make them look interesting without looking samey? Like, I don't know. No idea. But I did my best, and I hope you really like it. Uh, yeah. Also, I absolutely hate drawing spiders, because I feel like you either make them look too cute, or they look really stupid, and I can't get the spooky vibe down. <laughs> you let me know if I got this one right, because I'm not, I'm not sure. But then the canvas felt too empty, so I added something on the side. But at this point, it felt still too empty, so I tried to, like, fill the space. But I just, I ended up just moving the whole thing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, leave a comment down below what you want to see next. And I will see you next time, where I have a special drawing. Anyway, bye!